All right, he is back. Lake Speed. We got our new rival. Um, unfortunately, he outqualified us. I got a little cocky with my speed on my first run. Didn't think I needed to take a second run. And we missed out on Q2, but that's fine. Um, I do feel like we're probably going to be able to get points here. Um, just feeling fairly good about how things are going. So uh, what I'm going to do is try to get a bunch of these recorded and then release them one at a time. And uh, rather than trying to keep up and do one every week to get them out, just because I've got some time, but I don't know how long I will have time. I'm going to keep trying to go through all this, but obviously... Um, it's difficult to keep two videos of iRacing going out and then uh, one of these. So. Great Britain, then, one of only two countries to have held a Grand Prix a in every foggy, single year maybe? of the Formula One World Championship. And the circuit extends that record further for today's Grand Prix. The 3.6 mile long Silverstone circuit is one of the longest of the season, with 18 corners in the current layout. With average lap speeds reaching around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the quickest tracks of the year. Watch out for cars taking the right-handers of Abbey and Cops flat out. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out of track, correct, was it? how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're yeah. lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, I you start to feel the adrenaline wrong. and your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you had anticipate 20th for the for Hamilton into turn one. For three races it's in all a, a row, like maybe? going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and Lewis Hamilton completes Botas the front row. Bottas is going to win this championship. Grid, we have Verstappen, Norris, hey, Max is finally Sergio Perez, up there. And Ricardo, Leclerc. Science. Okay, this is looking Gasly a little better. And Yuki Sonoda. Except for Fernando Yuki Alonso, Fettel, would probably Esteban not Ocon, be up there. And Stroll, or he won't last up Reikinen, there. A Haas and Mick Schumacher. Russell and Nicholas Latifi. All right. And now it's time to head down to the track. Well. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. What do we need to do? Let's go personalize. We're showing 79 minutes for that one. And 79.13 for that. But we got a free pick of tires. And I always like to uh, go a little different. So... Let's try All right, I got to remember how to do this. So, we're looking at that's tire where the lap time is the dotted line. Is that correct? I think we could go medium soft but let's go medium hard we haven't tried that strategy um, it's gonna say now ah, that's a stupid strategy that's not gonna work Figure out what the correct balance is here. There we go. So we're going to go 31 laps on the mediums. That's going to take us quite a ways into it. Then we're going to get on the softs for 21 laps with light fuel. 
And I think that is going to be the good call. As long as we don't get a caution or anything weird. It's cloudy. It's going to get sunny and then cloudy. So we don't have to worry about the weather. Um... You know, I don't want to have to do fuel saving. We're going to go 52 and a half. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go with this. So starting on the mediums, we'll see where that puts us. And hopefully, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to do this. Why are we... No. Have things got changed? I'm sure the hell not going to... Uh... I do not want to do... Starts. Go simulation. Okay, well, I guess we have to. Whatever. Okay, well, um, let's see if we can get it. I don't even know what button 13 is. Is it going to be this? Okay. <laughs> well, that was always going to be shit. I don't know why that is uh, now on, because it definitely wasn't, so wasn't before. Oh man, I have not done a heavy fuel run. Not as nimble. Car feels absolutely terrible. And slow. I don't think we're going to get points. The Williams have went with mediums. And they are pulling away from us. Should have done some race runs on full fuel. This is not going to be good. Alright. We'll get it figured out. The car was already kind of bad at uh, transitions left, right. It's going to be even worse now with full fuel. I just, I completely forgot how much that changes the car because it's been a month, two months. Oh well. We got a long ways to go. Hopefully we can come back at him. We're still within a second. We'll get into DRS. Laps. Next lap, I think. And it looks like they're starting to back up to us a bit. This race is going to go by fairly quick, I think. God, this thing is just a pig right now. I'm guessing it's a little has to do with Arrow, but... my errors. We didn't do that on the start and that hurt us as well as the uh, just not knowing what the hell to do with the manual start. DRS is being enabled 
this lap, we can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. We really need to get around Latifi. I'm not going to do it by bouncing around like that on the corner, but... He doesn't have DRS. Well, we're going to Hamilton this. Nice move. Good job. Fuck! Alright, well, uh, since we didn't run him off into the barrier, we had to lift, and he was able to get back around us, so... Now we got him. Russell's got uh, DRS with Schumacher in front of him. Car's starting to feel a little better now. We're out of DRS range from behind, so that's good. Our gap to the car in front is 1.8 seconds. Ugh. No turn still. Yeah, we're not getting points unless we just come alive at the end, which we do sometimes, but I don't know. We're going to be losing so much ground here, flopping around with the uh, full fuel and just no turn. Two seconds ahead. struggle to get around this really fast wide open corners maybe next lap we'll have DRS 1.3 as long as I get the damn thing to slow down here If he dropped. Oh, Raikkonen's going to be so far ahead by the time we actually get anywhere near clean air. He's already five seconds ahead of us. late on my shifts. That's not helping things. push there, but we're in DRS. 
I'm surprised he hasn't been able to get a run on Schumacher, but I think that's a little difference in acceleration with mediums compared to the softs off the corner. Gonna use up some ERS. Just had to back off there. The air was going to destroy us being that close. Got it done, we almost took out Mick. Okay, good work, great pass. <laughs> That's a a dive and hope. The car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap form. I really thought we were gonna be using a flashback. me by. We're on different strategies and I am better. So I am Lake Speed. You're only a Schumacher. Alright, clean air. Five seconds still to Raikkonen. Let's see what we can do with that. God, how did I screw that up so bad? At least we got the detection zone, I think. curbs okay bit of a gap he's gonna still have DRS we should be fine though it, I guess. Alright, we're half a lap up. So, a little heavy on fuel, but that is fine. I'd rather not be saving fuel. We take the line away. This is going to be tough. I just... God, I just need to break that one second. Shifting up to eight there, though, is not the way to do that. Eventually I'll get back on ERS, but right now trying to let it charge so that we can go 
a lap and a half with it. Still a dog through there. Defensive because I sucked the exit up so bad. Luckily, he got a bad exit. We got some ERS, so. Bad through there. Always slowing down a bit too much. can go full throttle through there now. Alright, we might have broken the draft. Or the one second gap. We're gonna go ERS all the way through. We can start pulling away 6.8 seconds to Riken. and I'm not sure we're going to get there. God, just can't get that to turn yet. Best lap. Save the ERS a bit now. And uh, log some laps. That's all it's going to be now, is wait for these softs to pit. Go long. And see where we come out. So it's kind of a waiting game now. There could be a caution, you never know. But, uh... information on Raikkonen, they have some kind of mechanical problem. Well, that'll help us catch him if it slows him down. Yellow flag. Oh, it's definitely going to slow him down. Why are you driving in the middle of the road? Again. Yeah, we were racing before. Three seconds back, 12 seconds ahead. And Giovinotti is, uh... He's gonna be long gone. Unless those softs really start to die off. I mean, they should be pitting in about 10, 15 laps. Just 
just turning late onto everything. Okay. Okay, gap ahead is 13.3. Your S is built up. Start using it in key spots. I think just in the two uh, long straights will be best. Thirteen three. Someone on pit road. That shoved us off to the right. Yeah, this is just going to stay at 13.3 or go further. What are our tires at? Worried for a second, and then I was like, oh yeah, I'm not eye racing, it's backwards. We're just gonna have to stay in seventh, there's just not enough pull. It just dies when I get into eighth in this long straight. Well, um,. It's going to be fairly boring for a while. Unfortunate. Just car was very dog shit at the start. And we're just in this 16th place gap right now with not a lot we can do, so we're going to have to hope that we come back at them really hard. And, you know, if the softs are going on to hards, we're going to have a massive speed advantage. But we're going to have such a gap to make up right now. I'm just, I'm not hitting my lines. I'm not driving a heavy car, correct? need to be ahead of my uh, ahead in my steering is 14.6 seconds there. Best first sector, though. For me. I gotta get to this corner better. We got hers on. There 
we go, best lap of the race for us. Just crossed over 15. I completely missed that corner, so now it's going to go way up. Cost us two tenths right there. Wider entrance might help me. Hamilton's a second faster right now. The gap to the car ahead is 15.7 seconds. Still too slow through there, and then a horrible, horrible exit because. I went too far inside and then pushed out wide. sequence there all right well we're on lap 17 and they're still pulling away from us I am still sucking you'd think with this line telling me how to do the corners I could do them better but apparently not seconds. Not quite as bad, but not good still. Set best lap. For myself, personal best. And we got Leclerc, who has pit 
and is on the mediums. So, everyone is in pit stop window on softs, I would assume. see him just disappear on us. I don't know what the hell that was, but it was ugly. Okay, gap ahead is 7.5 seconds. Alright, well, they're coming in earlier than I thought they would. So. I guess. Be aware, we expect the grip levels to start that's good. Soon. Don't know why I shifted. Got confused on my corner. It's new first turn, not old first turn. Assume Max has pit. Jesus. I just can't string together and lap. goes fastest. Gasly's in the pits. Again, I screw that up. Gasly's going to come out right behind We've us. To P15. We are now in P15. So we have a chance to start holding people up, but I'm not sure I can hold anyone off. Luckily, we're 1.6 out, but he's going to be on fresh mediums and was faster to begin with. fight for it. It's pointless, but you know what? We have no chance right now for anything, so the longer I hold him off, who knows? gonna do it that way. Oh my god. Tire's trying to kill me. I thought he was gonna turn up into me. Alright. 
Well, we slowed him down a little bit. Now we got Yuki behind us. We got about 10 laps to go before our pit stop. Wide again. terrible. Strolls in the pits. You know what? These guys aren't doing much work on us now. Yuki's really not pulling away. Or catching us. Gasly's really not pulling away, so, uh. The gap to the car ahead is 1.5 seconds. I don't know. Maybe we're gonna make up some spots once we do pit and go on softs. shift there anymore. We can go fast enough through it now. Screw that up and yeah that cost us half a second. in the pits. Mick is in the pits. Mick in the pits. At the moment, the car behind us is lapping faster than us by around one second per lap. All I know is when iRacing gets the uh, Mercedes, I'm probably not even going to be able to complete a lap. And if I can, it's probably going to be like 20 seconds off pace. These cars are just ridiculous. So much faster than what my brain can handle. We didn't. I did not get a penalty. It's going to be hard not to do that the whole rest of the race, though. fuck that up so I'm slowing him down and myself 
racing people that I have no chance to beat. Being a chicken streaker massively. And goodbye. Continue to just get pulled along here, though. That will be helpful. Maybe you can teach me how to drive. I just can't go through there that quick right now. Tires are getting close to giving up. They're not terrible, but they're right on the edge of just spinning out on some of the really fast, hard turns that we're doing. Right at exit. Just got it. This has helped us. it's legal. Might have a chance to do some damage with uh, the softs. Be aware the car behind has newer tires. Car behind on newer tires. A new strategy is available on the MFD. 
Um. Copy that. I hope I said keep current strategy. I must have. I think we've lost him now. Yep, yeah, we're not gonna get DRS this time. But it was a really good run there. That that helped us a lot. It made me a little better driver. Maybe we can just sneak back in there. But we're using up a lot of ERS. And I got into 8th gear that I didn't want to be, and he's gone. And it's gone. Oh well, that that did a lot for us. The car in front is a second a lap faster, one second. Alright, Vettel's gonna have DRS on us. We're gonna be pitting soon. And we're gonna be going off track soon. some risky shit. And he's gonna have... No, we're gonna have it. No, we can't. Not gonna happen. Especially when I underdrive that corner again. And we have no ERS. Gotta build that back up for when we get softs. in the tires around now, so just be careful. Yeah, we're stopping we're now. We're coming in this lap. No idea where the pit lane speed starts. Um, I could just blow the front tires off of this thing. Or cheese it up and have it engage auto pit lane from very high speed, so have not practiced going in the pits here. Think I have an idea, but I overdrove the hell out of that corner. Hopefully this won't be too stupid. And it's going to feel like a whole new car. Double check that, yeah, we're still good on fuel. Alright, kind of cheesed it. 
but I've seen the marker. All right, well, I mean, it was a good second half of that run, but now we're going to see how far ahead everyone is and how much time we got to make up to even get 15th. Which Giovanotti just went by. Exit, exit now. Someone just went by. Probably the leader. Back to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tires. Oh god, I didn't like how that threw me there. All right, bring the tires up smoothly. We got 16 seconds. Right about where we were. So that's good. We didn't lose a bunch of time. We're going to, though, if I can't get this damn thing to turn on cold tires. Can already feel the grip in the wheel. Oh, yeah. Slow through that, but I'm scared of a penalty. Yep, we're catching. I don't know who the car is right in front of us, because it looks like a Haas car. But he's 20 seconds behind us, and we're the other one. So I have no idea what that is. Is it a... I don't know what it is. How can I not figure this out? Alfa Romeo? Okay, gap ahead is 14, Maybe it's Kimmy? came back out yeah that appears to be what it is we're increasing our gap on the car behind by around a second a lap all right so that's Kimmy Tires have so much grip now.
Did 131.6. Twelve point nine seconds ahead. Not going to waste our time in eighth gear here. Still chickened out. Could have been dangerous. Still terrible. I'll get it figured out one of these times. Max has done 130.2, so we are still a second off. And wide. That costs us some time. Ten point nine seconds. I don't know if we're gonna have time to get him. Ooh, I was so scared we we're gonna have to flash back there. And then I was thinking about that that I just missed the whole corner after. Our gap to the car in front is ten point seven seconds. Wheel spin. Nine point seven. Just not going to use ERS down this straight. It uses up too much, and then we have like two laps and then we gotta start saving again. And we're at the point now where we can flat foot this whole first section. Nine point one.
Rival's going to beat us, so that's not going to be good for us. Just not a good race. Just had no speed. And I think if we were on the same strategy as everyone else, we'd be worse off. So, I mean, we're just lacking a bit. It's a difficult track, and uh, car plays a big role here too. The gap to the car head is 8.7 seconds. And we're still in Haas, so you know we're doing way better than we should. Got to remember that. all that and just we did the freaking old turn one good and then yeah threw it all away spin. All right, we're at 12 to go. 6.8 We might have a shot But I need to clean up my driving doing that now all of a sudden. Shit, Max is at the start finish line. It means the leaders are going to be coming up on us. I guess that's good. We'll be able to see who's winning. But that's going to slow my progress down. Ferrari winning this thing right now? Or is that Raikkonen?
Well, we took that a little different. Felt much worse. Tires are starting to give up already. Cloud cover, though. The store is getting worn, reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. Well, I don't even know what that means. So keep it low. Just use it up here, I guess. There's a massive pack of leaders on top of each other. I was all confused there. Coming three point seven. Too much curb threw me left, and then it was all shit from there. They are just on top of each other. Oh, shit. Um, apparently I've been pulling back on my steering wheel. Thought it fell out. All right, how do I fuck this up? Okay prevent steering wheel from coming off desk and having force feedback well, just destroy my hand. 2.3 Just taking too much curb. Oh, yeah. Okay, 
we got him. That is 1.9 seconds. Botas is setting fast laps. They are all three. There's three cars right on top of each other for the lead. Mick is out. Mick is out of the race. Track is clear. Green flag. Almost, almost in the DRS zone. Not going to have it this time. At least not this straight. We weren't there in the detection zone. There now, though. And we're at a URS. How we didn't get a penalty. No issues with tire wear for now. Keep taking care of them. A little excessive on the uh, maneuver there, but hey, you know what? They got me the inside for the next turn, so works out. Five laps of fuel remaining. There we go, 15th place. The car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap form. Oh, there is a yellow ahead. Alonzo? No, Latifi. No position for us. Okay, clear. 
And that had me looking at that and forgetting about the guy we're racing. I didn't have ERS open or on down the straight. I thought I did, but I was hitting it backwards. It was already on and I turned it off. At least I don't think he has DRS. going to this time though. Accidental double shift there. He's going to get overtaken by the leaders in a second, so he'll lose a lot of time. But then we're going to have to go let three cars by. Hopefully I can stay on the lead lap. It looks like Max is winning this. But Hamilton or Botas is right on him. So it's good to see that there was uh, at least a little bit of change for position and it didn't just go who got pole. We have two laps of fuel remaining. Oh, nope, that's Hamilton. Let him go. Some breathing space between you and the car behind by a few seconds per lap. Blue flag, blue flag. Got 
that done. Don't let Giovanotti back within a second. What a race. Ooh, that almost felt like and sounded like I was losing power or something. Eight seconds. And this might be the end of the race here. It is. There you go. Just get lapped. Not a good return to the series, but you know what? We at least were able to go track down 15th place. Plenty of action here at Silverstone. But yeah, race. not good driving. What an impressive victory. Anthony Davidson, what helped them deliver this result, do you think? I think well, that's smart time and this is going to change driving definitely assisted in their victory today. The point that standings up a bit. Especially it looks like the they've speak. imported some uh, more team. realistic speed. Today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entire So, now can Botas hold on? So let's review the updated driver standing. A fifth place is going to be uh, leader, and their at the a little difficult. Been reduced. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Well, my driver of the day has to be Charles Leclerc. All right, so. He was unstoppable so, out on the track today. Long ways to go still, with ease. but it's time to check out the Max made up standing. a big gap. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out. And they improve their position in the championship. We're still After seventh because like who knows what the sport yeah, has in store for us We're going to be that way. Be sure to join us again and as we still ahead of Yuki. You the latest excitement in Formula One. Let's take out or take a look at race director. So just a one stop. He started third. Botas, yeah, that's pretty on par for him. Oh, Max started on the softs. That's probably what helped him. And then everyone just got stuck behind him. That was trying for more incidents. Oh, collision with Botas. And then two mechanical failures. First pit stops. Who pit first out of this? I guess it would have been Ferrari. And then Hamilton. And Max went longer on the softs than Hamilton did on the mediums. That's interesting. And we were the last to pit. All right, well, you know what? We're back at it. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get a few more of these recorded and start the series back up, but... Real life comes first, then iRacing, then Flight Sim, and then this. So uh, that is why this did not get videos for a few months. But here you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.